hello 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 and welcome back to my channel I know you can't hear me because it's too windy but this is the best time to actually do a walk today because the Sun is out but the wind is just picking up nowadays but I'm here today because I've been talking about this for ages and now it's time for me to actually do this I mean it's not a long walk but it will definitely give you the chance to see the beauty of the other side of Sydney anyway if you're looking for a hidden coves or the spectacular harbor views and the little pockets of beaches Rose Bay to Watson Bay walk is the best and should be on top of your list because the fact is that it's re it's really easy to walk that starts and ends with one of the Sydney's most scenic ferry rides. Good day, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. In this day and age, we are captivated with a daily routine but never get the opportunity to document their own story. A story that can have an impact. This is something that I have seen in my entire life. The world is changing faster than ever and it's imperative that we change it. I believe that the stories of today will be the history of tomorrow. And by documenting, I can help shape those stories for a better future. But first, coffee. I have been checking the weather conditions this past few days as winter starts in June here in Sydney. You know how cold it gets in Sydney, especially with the weather forecast says strong wind and exercise caution. Ha! Huh. Winter is here, I don't like when it's cold. Guess I like the warm weather as it gives me more options to dress up light and easy. So I start the day from Circular Quay where it takes me to my first destination which is Rose Bay. A suburban area just outside of Sydney and with a luxurious views and posh people live and it gets better and better while walking or hiking as you never get bored looking this fabulous place overlooking Sydney Harbour and it starts from here. Welcome to Rose Bay. Currently here at Rose Bay. So today I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing here. So basically, I am heading all the way to Watson's Bay. Now there's a bit of a walk here. It takes 7.4 kilometers from Rose Bay and all the way to Watson's Bay. So today let's go check out why this walk is so fascinating for people who lives here in this area. Let's go. how beautiful it is I know it's quite sunny today and you know it's just one of those days that even though it's cold here in Sydney or in Australia we still have the sunshine and that sunshine you know soaking yourself under the sunshine it takes all the colds away but trust me once you get under the shed then it's a different story anyway let's go take a walk and you know what's so good about this walk the city is just over there in the next area and then look at this place how tranquil and so so relaxed it's a bit windy but the wind is okay it doesn't really bother me it's just the cold that bothers me all the time because i don't like when it's freezing and it's cold but hey the sunshine is looking better today and that's why we're here and we're gonna walk all the way from rose bay to watson's bay it's an easy walk and i'll tell you exactly why it's the best spot and the best walking trail hike And to tell you why, you know, when you are bushwalking, especially here in Sydney, you have this kind of memory 
a memory because these places like these ones like the trees and all this beautiful greenery lush greenery place like this one the memory that you've been transported to somewhere different I don't know it must be the scent of the leaves the 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 beauty and the what I call that I don't know your senses is just change the wind blowing and simply just outstanding I don't know it feels really good to be walking in this kind of yeah area I finally made it to one of the heritage house here at Rose Bay. I'm not sure if I'm in Rose Bay at the moment, but I'm I think in the middle of it. But behind me is a heritage house built in 1858. It's called the Car Carrara House. Look how stunning it is. 18th century heritage house built and still here right in the 20th century. Can you see what's behind me? Look at that, how beautiful the structure is. I know, you're probably wondering, who the heck would stay there? Well, our ancestors maybe, right? So let's go and have a look at what's on the outside facade of this house. Welcome to the Carrara house. This great place, it's all the same. Little I know, Aside from this relaxing easy walk, there's places like this in the area that will take you back in time. Like old movies and memories of the heritage houses kept and preserved centuries ago. I won't forget the breathtaking harbour view, clear sea air and very very secluded. Until you get your chance to see it with your naked eye. A visit here will leave you feeling restored fit and ready to face the 21st century again as you continue to walk for your next destination. Nothing so spectacular if you're actually walking from Rose Bay to Watson's Bay. You see different um, heritage houses and all those pockets of beautiful beach just on the other side near the cliff. And now I'm showing you one of the heritage sites again. It's called the Vaucluse House. Behind me, it is built in the 1915th and Vaucluse House has been opened as a living museum here in Sydney. So if you get a chance to visit this area, you can actually come here and just enjoy the beauty of the gardens, the 19th century gardens. We're still preserved here. And it's only not only that, but what's inside in it. So if you go check out this area, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Come on, let's go. The Vaucluse House. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. 
At the moment I stepped inside this 19th century living museum, I knew it would be worth my time. Just as I think about this nostalgic firewood scent and memories connected to what is called life. Life is made with people you shared and connected. And memories of past become a history. Reenacted as years goes by and sometimes it changes. If this walk can only talk and write, and that may change the history. But for now, let's dive into this amazing present day of what Vocalist is all about. An easy walk from Rose Bay to Watson's Bay is somewhat filled with history. Quiet, peaceful, relaxing, and very educational. 